Stop focusing on your future. Bro, I, I get it, okay? We all are seeking purpose in this life. We all trying to find our purpose. We all want to know what the future holds for us. We all want to know these things, but bro, we got to stop focusing on our future, okay? We need to lay aside our future and be like, Lord, I'm giving it to you. Because at the end of the day, our future is in God's hands, okay? I got two scriptures I want to read, all right? Now, the first, and they're both in the same chapter. They're both in the same chapter, uh... And these two scriptures is scriptures that I need to start applying to my everyday life because y'all, I'm not perfect. I don't come on these videos to tell y'all certain stuff to say, hey guys, I'm a perfect guy. Look, I, I don't focus on my future, bro. Every day I'm already about my future. Okay, I'm 20. I'm 20 years old. I'm still growing mentally. I'm still growing emotionally. I'm still growing physically. And most definitely, I'm still growing spiritually. So I'm not coming to y'all saying, look, guys, I don't focus on my future. Yeah. No, bro, I focus on my future, too. I make these videos to help all of us, whether you old or young. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? But these two scriptures right here. So the first one is Jeremiah 1, uh, verse, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. I knew you before. Uh, this is the Lord. Okay, this is the Lord saying this. He gave this message to Jeremiah, the prophet, to tell the people. So this message right here is coming from the Lord. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as a, my prophet to the nations. Now look at that first, that, that, that very first sentence. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. This is what I mean. God already know us. God know us more than we know ourselves. You think that you think that you know yourself? Oh, trust me. God know you more than you know yourself. The second one is in the same book. Jeremiah 29, uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Now, this one is the one that I need to truly study. And I need to honestly continue to tell myself this over and over again to remind myself of what the Lord is saying to me. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. To give me a future and a hope. Why the freak are we so worried about our future when the Lord is literally telling us, hey guys, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. I know the plans I have for you. I know why we're so worried about our future because we see other people succeeding in life that are that is our age. And I say our age because I'm 20 and I don't know how many other people in my age group is watching this video, but look at how many people are succeeding in life. At least we think they're succeeding. But after watching that Cat Williams video, a lot of people are doing certain things to become successful. They're not getting their success from God. They're getting their success from the devil. Remind yourself of what the devil told Jesus when Jesus was in the desert, when Jesus was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. He said, I will give you all of this if you bow down to me. That's exactly what the devil doing to these, these, these celebrities. I will give you all of this if you bow down to me. And what they do, bow down to him because they want to succeed in life. They want their future to be something that, oh, man, I manifested this. I did this. I did that. We need to stop worrying so much about the future and focus on God. God has our future in his hands. Now, I'm not telling you to go sit around and be a lazy servant because God cannot bless a lazy servant. You know what I'm saying? God talk about laziness in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? A, a man who don't work, don't eat. So guess what? We need to work. We need to work towards our future, but this is how we need to do it. We need to first thing, first thing first, we need to commit ourselves to the Lord. Father God, help us. Or help me, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just praying just for an individual right now, okay? So you can say this to prayer to yourself too. But Lord, help me to continue to commit myself to you, to seek you with all my heart. So that way I don't have to worry about my future and I can put my future in your hands. Because when you're not committed to the Lord and you don't know who God is, of course, each and every day you're trying to go off your own strength, trying to be successful and trying to worry about your future. And that's why you're being so unsuccessful with your future because you're so worried about your future that you're not leaning into the one who created you. Imagine, and, and I'm talking to myself, imagine if I cre someone created me, not my mother, but a creator of the creator, like, I mean, the creator of the this whole entire creation, 
He created me also. And I'm sitting here so worried about my future when he literally states in his word that he knew me before he formed me in my mother's womb. He already know the mess up I was going to have. He know everything that I was going to do because he already knew me. He knew I was going to be a liar. He knew that I was going to fall into homosexuality. He knew these things. But guess what? Because of his faithfulness, because of his grace, because of the, the way that God is, because of his mercy, he brought me out of all of that so I can give him the glory, so I can glorify him. He brought me out of all of that. All of that pain, I saw he brought me out of all that and so now I give him the glory. And now I can fully walk into the purpose he had for me. Because let me tell you something. The purpose that everybody have on this earth as believers in Christ is to spread the gospel. It's to spread the good news. That is our purpose and that's what we need to do. But guess what? If you're looking for another future and you're looking for all these different things, then following Christ is not for you if you're trying to look for another future besides spreading the gospel. Now that doesn't mean I'm not telling you that you need to be a pastor. Everyone is not called to that. I'm not telling you need to be a teacher because your ministry is whatever God is calling you to. So you could be a hairstylist and be in ministry. What I mean is I'm not saying you be a hairstylist and be on the stage. No, I mean you could be a hairstylist and be preaching a word to your clients. And every time you touch your every time you touch their head, they're blessed. They're blessed. Because y'all don't know that it's witches out here. That once they touch your food, once they touch your food, once they touch you, you're cursed. They can put curses on you if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit. But you could be a basketball player and your ministry could be basketball. Every time that you go, you can go a triple double or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You go crazy, crazy in one game and they, and they, and they interview you. This is your time to tell the whole world, follow Jesus Christ. That's what I mean by whatever God placed you in. That is your ministry. We need to stop chasing so much after purpose and realize that God has our future in his hands. It don't matter. He has his your future in his hands. I'm so worried about my future because I'm looking at the right now instead of looking at what he's doing to me right now to get me to where he want me at then. And what I mean by that is this. God is taking us through a season right now. He's taking me through a season of, of financial distress. But the reason why he's taking me through this is because, and I'm not going to say that he fully is taking me because I got myself in certain positions and certain predicaments that I was never supposed to be in. But because I walked outside of the will of God, oh man, I'm going to touch on that too. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But God is taking me through a season right now where I'm going through this. So that way, that way I know if he, if he called me into ministry. If he called me to be a pastor, because a lot of people say, oh, man, you should be a pastor. I'm not a pastor yet because God is still breaking me down as a as a man right now, as a man of God right now. He's still breaking me down so I can become what he want me to become. So if you be, if you want me to become a pastor, I need to know how to handle finances, because guess what? Being a pastor that and people paying tithes and all that, I got to make sure I'm being responsible with everybody ties. I can't be going out saying, you know what? <laughs> they giving me 10 percent of their check. I'm going to go ahead and get a Lamborghini. Because when you start seeing too much money, you start to get big headed. I done seen a decent amount of money before and I got big headed. I got big headed. This, and what I'm finna say is not me bragging. These shoes that I got on the wall, those shoes in the back, I got shoes right here. All these different shoes, this room, the, the clothes I have, all that stuff came from me saying too much money. I got too big headed. Oh, I'm finna go buy me these J's. Oh, I'm finna go buy me these these uh, Supreme shoes. Oh, I'm finna go buy me these new these new Pumas. Like all these different things, bro. It's because I seen too much money. I got big headed. I can't go into pastor and being a minister and I'm too big headed with people finances. God is still working on that in my heart. God is still working on that in my heart. And this is another thing. When you're so focused on your future, sometimes you walk out of the will of God. Because you're so focused on what you want to do instead of what God wants you to do, you walk outside his will. So you walk outside the will of God, and now you're wondering, oh, God, why am I going through this? Why? Because you walked outside his will. You walked outside the will of God. The reason why we're going through what we're going through now is simply because Adam and Eve walked outside the will of God to eat the apple. So guess what? Now all sin fell into the world. We was never supposed to be going through what we're going through now. Babies was never supposed to be this hard to, to come out of your, you know what I'm saying? Your, your womb, you know, uh, uh, man is not supposed to be, we're not supposed to be really working these nine to fives and clocking in and doing all like, no, 
we still was going to work, but it was never going to be work, if you know what I mean. God was going to have us work, but it was never been to the point where we're in the freaking factory putting boxes on top of shelves and trying to get a paycheck and trying to, you know what I'm saying? Now we're going through these things. Now we're glorifying money to get what we want to get at because we're not trusting in God. When you walk outside the will of God, certain things happen in your life that was never supposed to happen. So stop walking outside the will of God. Stop worrying about your future so much that you're walking outside the will of God. God has a purpose for you, bro. Sus, he has a purpose for you. For I know the plans I have for you, plans that are for good. Plans are, that are for good and not for disaster. He has a plan for you. Just believe in that plan. Believe it. Trust it. And I'm talking to myself, y'all. I'm talking to myself. I'm not perfect. I'm not. I'm not. I sit there and I worry about my future all the time, bro. I switched on my channel and I'm like, Lord, is this a good thing to do? I kept trying to do politics because I felt like, oh, I need to get the money. I need to get this. But the Lord already called me to start to preach his gospel, to start a podcast. This is what the Lord called me to do. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm done running away from the will of God because I'm tired of walking outside of his will. I done did it so much that I see you like, dang, bro, when am I going to learn my lesson? Stop focusing on so much on your future. Give it to God, y'all. Give it to God. Give your future to God. Give your worries to God. Give everything that you're struggling with right now, give it to God. Give it to God. This is what we need to do. And when I say God, because I don't know who watching this video, I don't know who watching this video, but when I say God, I'm talking about Jesus Christ. Because the reason why I said it like that, because a lot of people got different gods. You know, shout out to, shout out to Nick Jones, because I watched one of his videos and he said that, and I'm like, yo, that is crazy. That is that that's actually true. When people mention God, they talking about a whole a whole God that they talk about a, a lowercase G. I'm talking about big G. Big G that wants you to give his words, that wants you to give your words to him. Big G that created this whole entire universe. Big G that 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 brought you through things that you was never supposed to get through. Big G, not little G, not the little, not the little little uh statues, the gold, the gold statues, not them. I'm talking about big G. You feel me? But yeah, man. Uh, give all your, your your things to God. Stop focusing on your future. Stop. Let it let it off. You know what I'm saying? Ask God to where you ask God to ask God to show you what He has for you. Show you your purpose. Like I say, your purpose is to to spread the word of God. But you're, 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 you're spreading the word of God could be in whatever he calls you to do. So if you a good football player and you go into the NFL, now you can do, you can turn, you can be in the NFL and give him the glory. That's your purpose. So follow the will of God and ask the Lord to show you what it is that he wants you to do. He wanted me to spread the gospel, but this is what he wants me to do with that on a platform, on a YouTube platform, on Instagram. TikTok on social media. I'm a content creator. This is what he want me to do. And just because it may not be getting as much as traction as Nick Jones or or Ruslan or all, it doesn't mean that God is not in the midst of it. God is. He's in the midst of all this that I'm doing. I pray before I make these videos to let people know the truth. And also I pray that God shows me certain things that maybe I didn't know. And sometimes when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself. So, yeah, uh, I love y'all, man. Enjoy y'all Sunday. Have a blessed Sunday. I love y'all, fam. Uh, and I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all later, man. Stop focusing on your future. Give it to God. Let me read those scriptures one more time. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And then we go right there to Jeremiah 1. Jeremiah 1 5, which I don't even need to go read to the scripture. I'm gonna just say it honestly because I don't feel like flipping through all these pages. Okay, there we go. Found it. All right. Uh Jeremiah 1, Jeremiah 1 5. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. I I set you apart. <laughs> The Lord is good. All glory to God, man. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.